Hey everybody, I'm headed up to the mattress store to drop off some stuff from Madison. And then I'm going to meet up with my mom at the mechanic and drop off my van so that I can have the backseat passenger door repaired. Apparently on these old Ford vans, it's a really common thing for this one little part to break that holds a cable on. And that cable is what actually releases the latch to let you in or out of the door. But right this second, I'm about to go back home because I forgot my wallet. Turn it around to go home, go back and get my wallet. Anytime you see mattresses like this, stay away. Or couches like that. If you see sofas like that, or mattresses like you saw back there, most of the time, people throw that stuff out because they have bed bugs. We frequently have customers come in that had everything destroyed. It's really expensive if you want to keep your stuff. Um, to have the experts come out and kill the insects on everything, it's high dollar. So for most people, it's cheaper to just buy new stuff. So never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, ever pick up one of those mattresses and take it to your house. Never pick up a street mattress and take it to your house. Even street furniture, anything with upholstery, street luggage, on trash day, people throw out some good stuff. But just avoid the upholstered furniture and the mattresses, and stuff like that. Otherwise, you might end up having to throw everything away. So, first I'm gonna go to Home Depot, pick up some more cheap lighting. I'm seriously trying to Instagram some shit while driving. That's stupid. I mean, I'm a red light, I feel okay about it right this second. When the light changes, I'll stop, I promise. Light change. Okay, anyway, this, this lady, she has a baby stroller and a walker with like some shit attached to the walker. Totally weird. And she will go into the laundromat and lock the second door, the one that clearly on the inside says this door is to remain unlocked during business hours. She'll go in there and lock that door so that there's only one entrance left. And then she will stand by the unlocked door and ask everyone for money. She knows they have cash because they're at the laundromat. It's not cool, lady. It's not cool. That shit is not cool. I'm gonna leave the car running like it's 1990. 1987? I don't know. I am Instagramming that picture now that I have a stop that I'm at a stopping point. Now I'm not criticizing, but lately I see a lot of ladies with Ronald McDonald's hair color. What's up with that, friends? I don't know about that. I don't know what I think about that. But let me clarify. If you're a lady and you have Ronald McDonald's hair color and you look in the mirror and you feel good about yourself, then please comment and tell me to shut the f*** up because looking in the mirror and feeling good is what it's really all about, you know? Oh, look at this, a speed trap. Look out my window at these police. Two cops on motorcycles with radar guns just waiting to give people tickets. Just nice people going along. Now my method for avoiding speed traps is I just don't speed. If the speed limit is 40, I just go 40. I use cruise control a lot, like, I'm not in a big hurry and I, I don't want to have a race with anybody, so I just go the speed limit. And you know what? I've <laughs> never had a ticket. Oh, wait, I have had a ticket, but I've never had a traffic ticket. My only ticket was for drinking when I was underage. <laughs> Red light, stop now. Green light. All right, here's what I do at Home Depot. They have a door that is designated the outdoor, and I always go in. You know why? Because it's the door that's by the cash registers. So when you leave, you don't have to walk a mile back to your car. I think it's like the IKEA premise. They put the, the entrance door on one end and the exit door on another, so that you have to walk through the whole place. All right, friends, I'm gonna go on Home Depot really fast. I'm not taking you with me. Uh, I'll show you what I got when I get back. All right, so what I got was bright white bulbs, a little bit warmer than cool white, and a few of these guys. Oh, and I also got a couple of these guys too. Uh, that's what I got from Home Depot. All right, about to pull up with the mechanic. I bought this lamp from Home Depot, and I'm opening it up, and my least favorite thing on earth is in here. Styrofoam? Packing foam? I love the earth. That's not why I hate this shit. I hate this because it gets in the carpet. <laughs> like, every time you open a package that has the stuff, you have to vacuum all the time. That's how it works. So, yeah. 
My worst fears have been realized. There's styrofoam in my carpet. All right, now we've got some light. Please comment and subscribe and hit that like button right now. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching.